Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of All About the Cars of Gran Turismo 7. In this video we're going to learn all about the 1997 Honda Civic Type R EK. Now this car is only available for purchase at the used car dealer on GT7 and if you aren't familiar with the used car dealer it rotates cars in and out of the dealership every day. So this car may or may not be available for you to purchase at the time that you watch this video but it will eventually rotate back in to being available for purchase again in the future. So be sure to check back often to check for its availability. Now this car is currently selling at 54,600 credits. I'm going to click on it and we're going to go over some of its specs to get started. First, this car comes stock with 444.9 performance points. It has an FF drive train, meaning that the engine is situated at the front of the vehicle and the front wheels drive the car. The maximum stock power is 176 horsepower at 8,000 RPM. The weight is just over 2,300 pounds, and the engine is naturally aspirated. Now we're going to click on Learn More and see what Andy has to say about this car. No matter the year or model, the Honda Civic has always been a popular choice for young driving enthusiasts. But perhaps among the most appreciated of all the Civics was the EK Type R. Its naturally aspirated VTEC power plant revved like a race car engine and delivered excellent torque. Armed with VTEC, it packed an incredible 182.4 horsepower punch for a 1.6 liter in line 4. The engine was so durable that some aftermarket firms powered it up even more by adding forced induction. Combine this engine with the car's lightweight body and you had one of the most potent cars on the planet. Alright, that's everything we can learn from the used car dealer, so we're going to back out to the main menu now and go to the garage where I'll get into this car and we'll learn some more about it. So here at the garage I'm going to click on change car. We have to scroll down to H for Honda. And from here we're going to go to the Civic Type R. I'm going to click on this car, we'll listen to its startup sound, and then we'll learn some more. on car collection go to this car and we'll learn some more by reading this short description about it. This car represented the first Type R model that eventually dominated circuits around the world. When you talk about hot Honda Civics, surely the sixth iteration of this compact car icon that first appeared in 1972 would take the forefront of the conversation. The car known in-house as the EK and dubbed by Civic loyalists as the Miracle Civic arrived in 1995. It boasted excellent fuel economy, high output, three-stage VTEC, and a CVT, or continuously variable transmission, called the Honda Multimatic. It came in three-door hatchback and sedan forms, the latter called the Ferio in Japan. This Civic won Japan's prestigious Car of the Year award, as well as racking up a number of different honors all over the world. In August of 1997, Honda introduced a Type R variant, which was based on the Civic hatchback, it was the first Type R model in Civic's history. The engine of the Civic Type R was a B16B, a 1.6 liter DOHC 16 valve inline 4 equipped with VTEC. The engine cranked out an amazing 182.4 horsepower at 8200 RPM, figures previously unheard of in a naturally aspirated engine. Also, it was lighter than the other Civics, making it that much quicker off the line. The car was also an excellent handling machine thanks to a lowered body and firmer suspension. Naturally, the Type R made for an exceptional racer with many victories in grassroots motorsports and in Japan's Super Taikyu Endurance Series. Even after all these years, the car still has a loyal following. So lots of great information about this car from Gran Turismo's description. We're going to back out to the main menu once again and we're going to stop at the cafe and see if anybody is here to talk to us about this car. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't, and in this case there's no one here. If they were, they'd be next to this trophies icon, but not to worry, we're going to make one final stop at the tuning shop, where I'll show you everything that can be done to improve this car's performance and power. So here at the tuning shop, I have not done anything to this car to improve its performance points, but I will show you everything that can be done to it. Under the sports category, everything here is available for purchase. Under Club Sports, same thing, everything here can be added to this Honda Civic. 
Under the semi-racing category, the supercharger and sports intercooler are not available, but everything else on this page is fair game. And under the racing category, you cannot add the anti-lag system, high-end torque supercharger, torque vectoring center differential, fourth stage of weight reduction, or the active LSD controller, but everything else on this page is available for purchase and can be added to this car, including the racing intercooler. Alright, so lots that you can do to this car to improve its performance and power. That's everything we can learn about this car from Gran Turismo 7. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you to determine whether or not you'd like to add this car to your collection. Stay tuned for more videos highlighting all of the cars of Gran Turismo 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.